KST Customs, the Vanguard Collection. Road Glide, Road King. One and a quarter base, spearhead, 14 inch. What are they? They're handlebars. Well, that looks weird that it comes in a box like that. Why is that, Yogi, you may ask? Because they look like this. Let's talk about them. Let's take this bike for a ride and let's talk. Look at those bars. Meat hooks. Oh, good, don't they? All right, y'all. So yeah, I might need to turn them in a little bit. I have them kind of straight out. They might need to be loosened up and turned in just a hair. So why, you know, why did I do a three-piece? Or why did I do a meat hook handlebar? When I vowed never to do meat hook handlebars again. Because I hate pulling wires through that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I refuse to do it. I won't do it. But I did. I did it on this one. Why is that? Well, because this is a three-piece. If you see down here, there is a clamp. So this actually comes to you in that box looking like two candy canes and then a bottom center bar. I vowed I would never do it, never do meat hooks again. But because this was a three-piece system, let me tell you, it may pull in those wires light years easier. So if you have any kind of aversion to wanting to pull wires, <laughs> And if you want to see how hard the Dominator meat hook bars are, watch this video. I'll link it up above. Dominator meat hook handlebars, yeah, I will never pull wires through those bars ever, 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 ever. Did I say ever? Ever again. But I would do these bars. So, you know, it's it's a, basically, it's a, I think a one and a half inch bar. The piece that he ordered down here, the bottom piece, the kit says one and a quarter. That was actually wrong. We had to send that bottom piece back and swap it out because stock Harley now listen this is important stock Harley if you have stock Harley triple tree with stock Harley riser cramps not cramps clamps stock Harley riser clamps those are meant for one inch bars so if you buy the kit with the one and a half inch bottom bar it will not fit you got to make sure you order the right bottom bar but really, pulling the wire on these really was not that bad at all. Now, this is a 2016 Road King. With a 2016 Ultra, you know, we don't have, this doesn't have all the, the, the components of the dash that an Ultra does. So this really only had either, I think there were four wires on this side to pull through, five wires on this side, plus it had the throttle by wire which I wound up pulling the main the harness through for all the signals first and then the throttle by wire I actually fed it through backwards the other way because I didn't feel like taking that big plug off the end so I fed it through in the other other direction but with uh, an ultra you know some of those have 12 wires in the harness getting it to go through probably won't be as bad on this because it's a wider diameter if you got another quarter inch profile on it than you do on the other bars on the uh, dominator bars they're only inch and a quarter and let me tell you that dominator bar was really rough in here it tore up the wire harness the last time I pulled it this this particular bar they've done a good job with this corner here it pulled through there very easy so thumbs up KST customs I think you all designed and put together a really good meat hook handlebar. Now, there is one thing that I don't like about these bars. And there's really no way to really fix, well, there might be a way to fix it. I kind of wish that this bar was notched so that I could turn the wiring to run internal of this here. Because there is no way to run the wire internal. It comes out the bottom of the meat hook. It comes out the bottom of this. So underneath here, you do have a wire that is open and exposed here. Just in this little section. So if you look at it from head on, you can see it. Is it really noticeable? No. And the way I, the way I wired these and extended the harness, this is factory right here. It's not electrical taped harness that I created. So really, it doesn't really look that bad. 
I did hide two uh, zip ties in here to tie that wire to this bar here to try to snug it to the bottom of this to keep it tight so it wasn't like hanging out and looking all messy. So that that did help. That did work. Overall, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I think it turned out pretty nice. What do y'all think of them? I don't know if I'm too keen on this, how it goes from two and a quarter down to basically one and a quarter and it'll step down to one inch in where your whole controls are. So it goes really from one inch, I'm sorry, one inch to one and a half. I keep saying two and a quarter. Why am I saying that? One inch here to, to one and a half, I believe is what it goes. Heck, dude, I was working on this bike till 11 o'clock last night. I, I can't remember these dimensions off the top of my head. One and a half, is that one and a half? One, one and a half, one and three quarters, two? I don't know. Check out their website for details. My brain is fried. I was up, I put, I worked a full day yesterday and put about five hours into this bike last night and I put another two today. So, everything appears to be pretty darn good. So I am pretty happy with the way this turned out. Like I said, I think the bars may need to come in just a little bit. But you know what? I'm going to let Big D figure that out. Figure out where he wants these bars. Might need to move the mirrors a little bit too. I'm losing my people. That's okay because they're going too freaking slow anyways. Holy cow, are we going to turn today? Let's punch it after they turn. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Nah, shit. New rider. No big deal. You go, girl. You go, girl! So not a bad looking bar, huh? I like them. Meat hooks are not really my style, but you know what? Hey. This ain't my bike the brakes they appear to be working risers appear to be doing their job we did put the orange risers in here a little bit of movement but not bad see there's a little bit so there you go yogi clan i just wanted to throw this option out to you kst custom bars the spearhead they are a good option if you want meat hooks and you want to DIY it because pulling wires through here was not a problem if you want to know how to do that I will link that video up above also and you can see how I pulled the wires how I extended my harnesses and pulled my wires through these bars uh, somebody did on my dominator meat hook handlebar video somebody did mention these and I you know casually said oh yeah yeah hey, thanks man I'll, I'll check those out and I never checked them out. But now, I got them installed. And I'll be doggone. They're pretty good. So I give them two Yogi thumbs up. I highly suggest if you're considering some to definitely check these out. I think they are a fairly new bar. So I don't think there's a whole lot of YouTube videos, but there are a couple YouTube videos out there for you to check them out. But really, putting them together it was really not that hard. It's three pieces, two uprights and one crossbar. Pull your wires through, stick them into the crossbar, mount them onto your bike, plug the wires in, boom, done. Not very hard, not very bad. We did put extended, we did put new braided lines on for them. These I think were six over stock which I thought was going to be a little too bit and a little too long, but we were able to work with it and able to hide it. So six over stock seemed to work for these 14 inch bars. Now these are laid back fairly far because he runs a windshield on here. So I have them where they're probably about that far from the windshield. That way you can take the windshield on windshield off. But honestly, these have me pulled so far forward. Um, my back is barely touching his seat rest, but Big D's a couple inches taller than me, so they'll probably be just fine for him, but he may want to pull them in just a little bit. I don't know. We'll try it. He can take them home, and he can play with them. He can tweak them and, and set them to where he 
feels comfortable. But overall, man, not a bad looking bar. Finish on them is awesome. The finish, the chrome, it looks like good quality chrome. The welds right here, scenery pretty good to me. The inside here, it was not uh, rough and scratchy like on the Dominator bars. I'm sorry, Dominator, that just, I just don't like your bars. <laughs> And uh, yeah, man, pulling through, it didn't catch really here at all, man. Didn't really catch at all. But this bike seems to be running pretty good, so I'm going to go home, let it cool down, give it a good scrubbing, give it a good bath, get all my sweat and dirt off of it, and customer will be up tomorrow morning to pick it up. So now it's time for the Yogi bike to get up on the lift and get some love. So stay tuned, Yogi Clan. More videos coming your way. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, I love y'all. Be safe. Have an awesome week or awesome weekend whenever you're watching this, and I'll catch you on the flip. All right, y'all. Peace. No rest No, no I've been down so long That my mind can't get no rest